And welcome back to 3 Minute Beer Reviews. In the first video I said this will be called Josh's Beer Reviews. It actually is going to be called 3 Minute Beer Reviews because you know what? I'm a teacher. I don't want my students seeing me talking about beer all the time on the internet. So for the most anonymity sake except me saying my name every time and me having my face plastered all over it, this is called Josh's, can't even get that right, it's called 3 Minute beer reviews. Oftentimes I might go a little bit over three minutes, maybe sometimes I'll go under three minutes, but you get the point. A lot of beer reviews might be eight or nine minutes long. The person waxes poetic about the taste of the beer. You know what? I might do that sometimes if it's a really damn good beer, but most of the time I'm just going to get straight to the point. Okay, today, first beer I had was, this is the Miller Lite. I didn't even finish it yet, but I still got it right here. I might even sample, taste back and forth with this next beer called the Crisp. The Crisp is brewed by Six Point Brewery, which is based out of, according to this uh, can, Brooklyn and Memphis. I think this might have been brewed in Brooklyn or New York because it has the Statue of Liberty right there on the barcode. Um, but I did a little bit of research prior to drinking this beer. Um, according to Beer Advocate, it is a German Pilsner. Um, I'm not sure. the I know that there's a big thing, Czech versus German Pilsner. I've done a little bit of reading. I'm not sure the difference in taste um, or any of that, to be honest. But um, I saw this at a beer, uh, a beer at a liquor store uh, when I was in Minneapolis last weekend. I live in rural South Dakota. It's kind of hard to get some of the fanciest, smangiest beer out there. But um, it was a nice liquor store in the uh, Seward neighborhood on um, East Lake Street, uh, probably called Seward Liquor. But it was massive. They had an amazing beer selection. I got to build your own six pack, mostly uh, with Pilsners in it because I enjoy Pilsners. Um, so it's uh, 12 ounces. 5.4% alcohol by volume, 44 IBU, 5.9 SRM, I'm not sure what that means, and it is a lager because Pilsners are lagers, I know that much. On the back it says, we were 60 feet under when the beer came calling. While sinking tankards in the ancient beer caves near the foot of the Alps, inspiration struck and at that moment the crisp trademark was born. And in your hands turns obsession into reality. Now that is crisp. Okay, so... This is one of my first higher-end uh, Pilsners. I've had uh, the Rogue Good Chit Pilsner before. Um, it was okay. I It was, it was very chitty. Um, I liked it. Uh, I got it in one of those big, uh, like, what, 24-ounce, maybe even bigger than that, 32-ounce bottles. Um, and I couldn't really get that. I, I drank it in, in the night and slowly, you know, glass after glass. You're enjoying it, relaxing, watching movies, friends, blah, blah, blah. Um, so... This right here, I'm going to open it up again. I to be W. Solid here. If you ever work as well tonight, Will Hayward, Lucy Parsons, read about him. Okay. Oh, a little shook up, kind of foaming at the top. I'll even smell it right now before I pour it. Mmm, it smells good. It smells grainy. Um, it smells good. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to pour it slowly so it doesn't get too big of a head. Watch me do it. You can already kind of see, oh, it's very, it's pretty damn uh, clear. Almost looks a lot like that Miller Lite that I just had. Um, I didn't even finish it, but I'm going to you know, compare, contrast a little bit. The head is going pretty hard. Give it a moment to simmer down. Um, you can almost see through it. Maybe not all the way right through it. Yeah, I, I am filming this on uh, just photo, what is it called? Photo booth on my, uh, you know, MacBook or whatever. So, you know, not fancy at all, but it is what it is. It works. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, so uh, pretty good head on there. Pretty clear. Um, let's smell it. You can definitely smell uh, more bitter hops, huh? Look at that, and a little bit um, bitter hops in there compared to Miller. But the smell is not very overtaking. Again, pretty grainy. It has more, you can, I wouldn't be surprised if this had a little bit more of like a hop bite um, compared to, you know, Miller Lite. I'm, I'm assuming because it's made by a micro, or not micro, but by a craft brewery, um, and it has 3.9, 3.93 percent on our out of five or whatever on a beer advocate that it's going to have more flavor than Miller Lite. Um, by the smell, it suggests it has more flavor. Um, so yeah, let's dig in. Oh, 
That's good. Um, I really like this already. It has, uh, I mean, I'm comparing this to Miller Lite, which does not have a lot of flavor, but um, for a second, let me take another sip in. So I said it before in the first video that I'm from Milwaukee. I grew up in Milwaukee. Um, I drank a little bit as a teenager. You know, like you shouldn't do, but I did. I made some poor decisions. But anyway, um, the, there was this yeast smell in Milwaukee, and I'm going to probably talk about it because it's, you know, it's I'm nostalgic. I love Milwaukee. Um, and this beer tastes like that. No, it's not very yeasty. Never mind. Mm. Okay, it's 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 got that that crispness. It is crisp. It's got more of a bite, and it definitely has like a multi yeastiness to it. Um, and I feel like, and this is apparently a pretty good pilsner, um, but I feel like this beer is probably how I envisioned beer tasting. Um, when I was a kid, um, it's, it's, it's definitely got like a skunkiness to it, but not like a very, it's not skunky, but it's got a skunk to it. It's not uh, yeasty, but it's got a yeast to it. Um, it's refreshing. It's, you know, clear, but not too clear. Um, it's pretty damn good. That's all I'll say about it. It's pretty damn good. Moving up to the seven minute mark, I'll stop it right at seven minutes. Okay, see you later.